Okay, so I'm going to go back over what we were doing before break. So, so far this year, we have been adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing um, by chunking things up into place value. And that's what we're going to continue to do with division. Um, and, you know, we did a little bit of this before break. I'm just, this is a reminder for you. So, because these multiples are really easy to remember, counting by fives, counting by twos, counting by ones, these are the numbers that I'm going to choose. And I pretty much just write them again here by multiplying them by 10 and write them again here by multiplying them by 100, right? 2 times 10 is 20, 2 times 100 is 200. Now, this helps us with whatever number we are going to be dividing by. So for example, if I have seven here, that means whatever this number is divided by seven, this is the number that's going to help me figure out what goes on the left because it's this number that I'm gonna multiply one by to get seven, seven times two, 14, seven times five, 35, and so on and so on with these. Now, because I'm a lazy math teacher, I'm just gonna cheat and put one zero in the tens area and two zeros in the hundreds area. And take whatever numbers are here and just scoot them to the left, to the left. So seven, seven, 14, 14, 35, 35, because I know that seven times that is that, and seven times that is that, but I'm kind of too lazy to do all the work. So let's pretend that I have $184, and I take my seven favorite students to, uh, the flea market, and I want to give each of them the same amount of money and see how much I have left over uh, for a cup of coffee while I sit down and wait for them. So um, 184 divided by seven, that's what we're looking for. And in order to find the answer, we're gonna subtract, and we're gonna choose a number that's on the left, on the left, that's the closest to 184 that I can um, subtract from it. And that number would be 140 here. That would, number would be too big. So that's just right. It's the closest to it. Four minus zero, and then eight minus four, right? One minus one is zero. Whoops. And if I choose 140, on the right, I need to write that number down too. Now I'm going to do the same thing now with 44. What number here is the closest to it that I can subtract? And that's 35. 35 is on the left, on the left, and 5 is on the right. Okay? I'm going to subtract. And if that's a little bit challenging for you, then just make a fist and count up. Okay? So 35, and then start counting. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay, there's my broken finger. That's nine. And so that's what the answer is here. 44 minus 35 is nine. Okay. I can still subtract the seven. So I write the seven on the left and the one on the right. And nine minus seven is two. And now I can't subtract anything else. I climb up the ladder and I get 26. And the number in the ones place, I put above the other numbers in the ones place. And the number in the tens place, I put above the other numbers in the tens place. And I put my remainder, R for a remainder, two next to it. Now, to prove that this is true, I don't want to just take your word for it. I want you to actually prove that this is true as well. 
that 184 divided by 7 is equal to 26, remainder 2, what I want you to do is multiply 26 times 7, okay? So we can do that using the area model. Um, remember, 26 is 20 plus 6 when you expand it. And 20 times 7 is 140, right? 1, 0, and then 2 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42. I draw my lines so I make sure everything is in the right place. And I have 140 plus 42. And that is equal to 182. When I add the rem remainder, okay, the remainder two, I get 184. And that is the number that is there. Okay? And that's how I know that this is correct. So, what I want you to do now, if you need to watch this video, then watch it again. But for those of you who feel like you more or less have it, I think I'd like you now to um, find out what 174 divided by 8 is, okay?